what's going on move the mouse here back in city skylines the town of springdale with our let's play season four episode number 15 and uh this little area that we built out in the last episode is starting to fill up pretty slow our demands are uh not that high right now and we've got some problems with the commercial areas not having enough workers since not too many people live over here just yet but that will sort itself out eventually we'll figure out uh where we can put some parks and stuff over here. It looks like from the poll on the channel that the amusement park has a slight edge. So when Park Life eventually hits, we will uh, get rid of this stuff in here. This will probably be our amusement park in the downtown kind of area. It does have a uh, good highway access on either side, so that should work out well. And then I kind of had to plateau this off a little bit, or I didn't have to, but I did end up flattening it out quite a bit. So I thought, this might be a cool spot for the zoo, and the zoo does take up a good amount of area. So, let's see. Power problems over here. That is our high school, and actually a couple buildings have moved in next to it. So let's get some power over here for now. We can always get rid of these power lines later on. But let's not give people a reason to move out already, now that they're just getting settled in here. We've got four million in the bank, and I had a couple projects that I wanted to do today. And I think the quicker of the two, I think, I'm not 100% sure. It might take me a while to, to figure this one out. But I wanted to do some monorail access, and I thought it would be kind of cool to run a monorail out here along this residential district. Let's, let's bring up the zoning so you can see what I'm talking about. So this is all residential up here. So maybe bring it down along the seacoast. Have a stop over here in the office park somewhere. Maybe have a stop over here in uh, this district where the uh, the commercial is and then bring it all the way down even over here into the industrial just to kind of have some interesting ways to get around the city. And then the other thing that I wanted to do was since we don't have outside train connections, we do have some room on the outer edge of the map though. And I thought it might be nice to have a couple train stops, definitely near the airport. Maybe one over here somewhere. One in the north part of town. Maybe up by the university. We could put something up here. And then one somewhere over here. Maybe an amusement park stop is what it's looking like. So let's get in on the monorail and figure that one out first. So over to our... Which one is it? This one? Is it under trains? No, it has its own tab. <laughs> so we've got a couple different options here. Monorail station needs to be connected to other stations with monorail tracks. It does not have to actually have a road on it. So or it needs to sit on a road. I shouldn't say that. But this is a monorail station with a road built in. So this one's actually sitting on top of the road. There's a four lane road with a divider up the middle. So that's an option. But that's if we want to carry the tracks on down the street. And I kind of want to just run it along kind of the side of the area here. So we're gonna have to move a couple things around. It might be nice to connect it into an existing metro station because that one looks pretty popular. So I'm thinking we might have to knock out a couple of these buildings and let's move our high school out of the way a little bit. We'll move it down here over on the other, whoops, other side of the cemetery. Then I'm thinking we cram a monorail station in right here and then figure out where we can kind of hook the lines around. So this one is a monorail bus hub. This has a uh, built-in bus stop, but we could just put a bus stop right over here. And then this one is a monorail train hub. I want to say that this one might even have a, um, this one might even have a subway built into it. I'm trying to think, but rather than build it onto the roads like I did in the last map, I'm going to do a regular station let's see where we can kind of cram it in with some room that we can hopefully hook away from the coastline here so i'm gonna do that i think let's do that let's pause it before i get too ahead of myself let's see if we can actually hook a monorail line up correctly here so we'll curve it let's come out like that and see Yeah, that works. I 
and do something we'll come over here like that so before we do that so that looks like we can get over there just fine let's run a monorail track along our coast so that should be pretty good right there we're gonna do it kind of right on the edge here Dipping down a bit, but that's fine. I want to see if we can get this underneath the bridge. That would be awesome if we could. Let's see if we can do that. Will it let us? It will. Okay, so we'll we'll start to curve from here. So that we can kind of bring it right along the coastline. Space already occupied. What does it think is already occupied? Because it was going to let me do... It was going to let me do that. Oh, I'm hooked into it wrong. Try and do that before we come back up the coast. And where do we want to put these? So I'm thinking this would be a cool spot right here in Runt Park, right across from the Mall of Moderation, I believe that one is. But that kind of puts you right in the middle of this downtown area. But it might also be nice to stop one right here. So since the monorail lines don't need to have any bypass trains because the routes that are going to run are, are basically entirely up to us. We don't have to do those bypass tracks like we do with a, a train line that has outside connections. So let's get a couple stations planned out. And we can figure out how to kind of hook them in. Well, hopefully having to break as few buildings as possible in the process. Because as you can see, we've got we've got some traffic problems starting to happen. So I want to start giving some other routes for people to get around. Metro is definitely going to be the most efficient one, but I thought this one would be kind of fun for some above ground uh, rail tracks and stuff like that. So let's see. L let me do that. I'm gonna have to break these buildings, obviously, but that works. That works for me. Nice little run under the coast still need to come back and fix this i don't know if you remember when i dropped that in but not too happy with that right now so let's figure out our next stop is going to be over here in runt park and we'll do the same thing we'll kind of run it underneath the ridges that looks like a good spot and then what i would like to do i think would make a lot of sense here is let's break these segments of road I want to do this before I forget because I want to do a crosswalk right there. So we're going to do six lane bike paths. Right to there, maybe. And then to there, and then we'll connect it with, let's say, a grass line segment. And that'll put perfect two crosswalks right there across the street from our monorail station and our metro station. So it should enable the Sims to to take different routes if they need to to get around. So we've got to stop there. We've got to stop here. We could just hook this in. Like I said, it doesn't need to be a bypass route, but we could. We could bring the monorail access up to the university. Might be kind of cool. Maybe the monorail is what we run around the town itself. And then we could even do a train around outside of that. But honestly, with no outside connections, it doesn't matter as much. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I think... What do we got going on here? A nice forest fire? Come on. Come on. I have the worst luck with forest fires, honestly. I'm just going to stop putting trees in my map. Those are decorative trees that I added in. And they're all burnt up now. Fire department is working on it, which is good, but... Be better if it, everything didn't burst into flames in the first place. So let's get connecting. Okay, we got both those hooked up. Let's figure out where we want our last stop. I think it would be good somewhere over here in industry. Maybe we just put it kind of right out here. In the middle of this office area. But where's a good way for people to get around? I, mean, I guess they could walk it if they had to. We could do some, some bus routes down here at some point. Put it right in the middle of these three buildings on the corner. Then I'm going to hook all that in. 
But back to our metro lines. Let's get this hooked up before I forget. And then let's dezone again before I forget, because we don't want to be have people right on top of the metro. They're just going to complain about the noise. We'll go ahead and get rid of this building too. And then we move our, we should probably move our high school back, especially if this is going to be the end of the line, but we could continue up this way and have a monorail stop up there. Generally your monorail stops are a little closer together, but this gets you from residential to office, to commercial to industry. So hopefully that will save some car routes. Let's move the, uh, let's do it. Let's move the high school back. If we can get it in there, at least for now, we can always move it again. That's good. And we'll just bulldoze this. Okay. Metro, my Metro monorail routes. Let's get our tracks all hooked up. See if we can get under here with the power lines and all that stuff. Nice, we can. We'll just run as close as we can. Underneath the shore here. All right, I'm not skipping a stop. It's up on the next one. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. I, I think that's okay. We could have planned ahead of time and, and had a little bit more space to zone on the outside, but I don't I don't mind that running down by the water. We'll get this hooked up, and then before we create our lines, I want to come back and dezone so that we're not right on top of it. We'll run under here. We'll go under one more bridge, and then we'll hook over the river. Space already occupied. I must have. I always do that when I snap it incorrectly. Or maybe it's a bridge pillar? It's a bridge pillar. So let's hook it out ever so slightly. Let's come back. Uh, let's come back a segment. Didn't like where I was trying to snap it to for whatever reason. Okay, we'll do that, and then we'll just come right over here. Do that. Break a couple buildings in the process. That's okay. So before we do our lines, let's come back in and dezone so that people actually office isn't gonna mind. Office is okay there. Technically commercial won't mind, but I I don't want you know these really small buildings, so that's okay. I can deal with that. This we'll get rid of. Those two little segments. Why is that? Why is it a single house there? I'm pretty sure I didn't mean to do that. So that's all office now. This building doesn't look accessible, but I guess the parking lot is what's uh, touching the road there. And then that was all good, okay. So now, metro line, keep saying metro, monorail line, we'll come down and we'll come back. That is not, that's a metro station that I'm trying to make a stop at. <laughs> so we'll do this. And then same thing coming back. Just for something a little bit different, right? Carry some stuff around the, uh, the river here. And we're trying to basically help out people with their commutes. So you're in residential, you want to go to office. That does affect our skyline a little bit on the river, but I'm okay with that for now. Come down to commercial, go down to industrial, 
and back. And then when we rethink our metro routes, we'll definitely make sure that there's more of this, right? Metro stations right next door so that people can jump from, you know, train to metro to uh, the buses. So we've got that all set. Let's go ahead and hit play on that. And let's see how this fire is doing. It looks so hot. Or I should say it does look hot, I guess. Um, never mind. So university-wise, everything should be set. We've got the collider now, so we don't really have to worry about capacity anymore. We do have some demand cropping up for industry. It's the only thing we've got going right now, demand-wise. Let's see what we've got for zoning over here. Got a lot of office park over here. Ton of office park. I feel like we should have another residential pocket in here somewhere once we get uh, more of that demand cropping back up. I'm pretty sure I didn't mean to have these cross streets. I think we're okay without them. Those are long blocks, but I don't think that we need those cross streets there. Let's do a couple more blocks of office here. Just for now. Meet some of that demand. Keep things growing. That's odd. And uh, so that should knock out our industry demand right there. I think between all the low density, tons of low density housing over here. And I'm trying to remember if I did it. If I didn't, I should have. I did. I knocked the taxes down to 1% for low density. Still keeping them at 12. So hopefully that will encourage some people to move in over here. Like we've got some houses spinning up right now, actually, which is nice. I should throw her on three times speed. Let me do that. So we only spent what? Not even, not even two hundred thousand dollars on that monorail project. How much are those stations? Fifteen thousand. Those are pretty cheap in comparison to uh, metro stations, right? Those are. Oh, those are the same. I think I feel like the tunnels cost more to run but I could be wrong um, but we definitely need to think about Metro at some point maybe we could do some train routes in expectation of park life having a stop over here by the looks like amusement park based in the poll now's your chance to cast your vote that poll is still open so you want to change this from a uh, amusement park back to a zoo then, uh, then definitely make sure you cast your vote. Because right now, like I said, that's winning. But it's not like we don't have a good spot for the zoo. I think this would be a great spot over here. Good, big, flat, open area. We could carry this six-lane road across the river. Kind of link it up over here. Maybe turn this into a six-lane. Kind of bend that off this way. Might make more sense, and then that kind of runs over here. I did just cut this down into a two-lane over this way. I felt like it wasn't going to have to support a lot of traffic. I could be wrong. Maybe it should be like a, uh, a highway, since there's no uh, entries or exits points off of it. Is there a two-lane highway? That's a one-way. One, one, One lane going each direction. That's what we should be doing. No parking lanes, faster movement speed. So let's fix that while we're over here. And do we want to sound barrier it? I guess we could. But that will speed traffic along since we don't have any uh, zoning over here. Or at least I wasn't planning on it. We could always change it back or do a little exit up into the mountains. But that will help speed traffic along into this area. And then, of course, they've got a route up here. Hopefully that will support the traffic that we needed to. But there's always tunes and tweaks we can do. And Metro is going to be a big part of that. Let's see if we've got people waiting for the monorail. There's some trains moving around right now. Let's take a look what that did to noise pollution. So if we go down to our headphones, whoo, man, those are bad. Those are really, really bad. 
You look at those, they're just terrible. Now look at the... Where do I have a metro stop up here? So yeah, the metro stop's not great, right? But it's not that, that huge bubble of the, uh, <laughs> of the monorail. So make sure you have good med coverage when you drop those in. People will get noise sick, but as long as they have coverage, they should be fine. Just give out some headphones to everybody. Noise canceling, of course. Death wave, I'm gonna guess. Do we not have good coverage over there? That could be a problem. Oof. Okay, let's let's fix that right away, huh? So let's see. Maybe in this office park. Is this an office park? I guess it makes more sense to throw it in what will ultimately be residential. We'll do that. Give them a crematorium too, because the availability is just on the edge of green. We'll get more trucks, trucks, hearses out in this area. And then let's do some zoning over here. So we'll do this all in low, no, not low density. My bad. In residential. But I want to get rid of those little chunks of uh, zoning over here. We don't want those tiny little buildings right there. We'll go back to our fill and we'll throw this in. Just having some space planned out that we want to definitely be residential, even if we don't end up needing it. Nice to have it kind of boxed off because I don't want people to have to go too, too far. We've got a residential pocket over here. We've got another one, obviously, over here, the old European buildings. And then we've got one starting to fill up over here. So it's, it's just nice to space it out so that hopefully people will find a job that's kind of nearby. Not always the case, but... And then why don't we do... Actually, let's get rid of these. Because we could do... Look at all that traffic. Look at all that foot traffic. Let's do commercial over here. Those are our recycling plants. But since we've got Eden in, we don't have to worry about it polluting and making the residents there unhappy and unhealthy. So we'll do a commercial strip all the way down there. This could be a nice area for like maybe a nature preserve park or something like that. So when park life eventually drops, whenever that might be, um, we should know more soon, I would imagine. We'll, uh, we'll definitely get to, uh, to start dropping these in. Again, we'll do an amusement park, obviously a standard park here in Central Park. Now there is a zoo in Central Park in Manhattan, but what we could do just to kind of cheat it is there is the, where is it? Here, it's right here. Let's see how big this is. So that takes up a decent amount of room, right? And it kind of has the feel of, uh, of a zoo in a central park because i want to do like an all-out zoo and like do a massive zoo that you know you could do a huge build in park life that is just a zoo you know we could fill up this whole bottom half of central park but i think it would be kind of cool to have a, a an object inside of central park and you can do that you can drop you know other uniques and buildings inside of a park area and then decorate the rest of the park so maybe we'll put a little zoo in the corner here just to kind of keep with that theme we'll get rid of the Central Park unique building and just fill the rest out with trails and buildings and all sorts of stuff. So keep an eye out for that. That will be coming to the channel as, as soon as I can once it's released. Um, so today's the Wednesday episode. I've mentioned the schedule before. Um, there's no, no stream tomorrow, which is going to kill me uh, because there's a big announcement coming Friday. You'll know more. You'll, you'll probably be able to imagine why um, when you hear the announcement, kind of why I was... Uh, it's unfortunate that I won't be able to stream on Thursday, but I, I really would like to. Uh, but it's just not going to work out with the schedule. So between PAX and, and some other videos that I'm working on for this weekend, there's going to be plenty of content this weekend. Uh, but I really got to get cranking on it. Uh, Thursday night is kind of my timetable to do it. So uh, you'll start to uh, get some updates around uh, what I've been hinting at for so long on Friday. But I think that's a, a pretty good spot to break for now. We've got a ton of ideas we can still start working on. 
We've got the most basic of uh, monorail here. We'll start working on a train line in uh, another episode, kind of going on the outside of the town. Maybe we'll do another monorail on the uh, the inner side of the other river. Kind of crisscross them and get people moving around some different ways. Let me know what you think about this going underneath the, underneath the bridge. Should we knock out the zoning on the outside edge of the river and just run it that way? Or do you like that kind of snaking in and out underneath the bridge? Uh, let me know what you think about that because maybe we'll change some things around but but zoos parks all kinds of stuff coming as soon as we can drop those in but in the meantime follow me on twitter join the discord if you want to get involved in the discussion and if you did enjoy the video likes comments shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated subscribe if you're new here hit the bell to get notifications and until friday when there'll be an announcement on the channel and stay tuned for whether or not we're doing the sunday stream i definitely want to but it it's going to be an absolutely exhausting weekend. But until then, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.